Well, there was one man who was the runner-up for the heavyweight title. He was in the finals of the tournament. The finals saw Mike Verna taking on the elite athlete, Mike Orlando, in what was a classic heavyweight battle. Mike Orlando came out on the losing end of that matchup. All right, folks, well, little Hall and Oates here for the New England superstar, Teddy Goods, making his Dynasty Pro Wrestling debut here tonight at Two Red. All right, these fans, you hear them. They're clapping along with Hall and Oates here. He's even got Mike Orlando going, too. Yeah, Mike Orlando's into it. Well, what I like about Mike Orlando is he is truly an athlete. He likes the competition. And he doesn't back down from anybody. And Teddy Goods, similarly, the kind of guy that always looking for a fight, always looking to better himself. And Mike Orlando, he's not afraid. Somebody knows the words. Oh, I, I, I got to say, Anna Teresa ringside, just exactly what I would want in my corner. Va, va, boom. I mean, with a woman like that by your side, you can accomplish anything if you're the elite athlete. And now... Teddy Goods taking off that Bearded Club t-shirt available on Pro Wrestling Tees, of course. Teddy Goods stepping into the ring. He's got a little bit of a modified man bun there, a Hall & Oates man bun. All right. Well, Teddy Goods here about to square off against the elite athlete, Mike Orlando, and we are underway. Well, these fans now clapping along here. A little crowd participation called for by Teddy Goods before we see these men circling. A little handshake, good sportsmanship. And now we've got a collar and elbow tie up center of the ring. You know, RJ Deloise coming to you live from Turan alongside the debuting Sebastian Edmund here. This is all fun and dandy until one of these guys loses. I don't think they're going to have the same reaction after their shoulders are down on the mat for three seconds. Well, it's a good point, Sebastian. It's starting off a friendly competition here, but you're right. This could absolutely deteriorate into a fight. Both men obviously have a lot of pride in their craft, and neither man's going to want to lose to the other. But another collar and elbow tie-up. Down to one knee, both men, and now... Oh, my goodness, the bear hug by Teddy Goods. Really working that midsection area. Rolled off by the elite athlete, Mike Orlando. And these men very evenly matched here at the early onset of this matchup. I mean, Orlando hasn't been on the winning end since making his way to the finals of the tournament. And on the other side, you have Teddy Goods. Once again, another newbie looking to make a good impression in his first matchup right here at the Dynasty. Well, and it would certainly send a message to the back of the locker room if you saw Teddy Goods beat the elite athlete. Oh, all right. Well, they're inviting someone into the ring, but he's not following through. I wouldn't be antagonizing anybody else to uh, get into the yeah, ring. We've already seen. Yeah, a couple I don't know of what could happen tonight. exactly. You don't know who's sitting out there, but now, oh, well, Teddy Goods getting himself out of there and very evenly matched these two. These two seem to know each other very well. Both of these guys is definitely not their first go around and. Neither competitor can quite get the edge thus far, although both of these athletes vying for the crowd's attention, vying for their support, doing whatever they can to get the upper hand on the other. And now... Ringing that arm, that shoulder area of Teddy Goods now by the elite athlete and rolling through by Teddy Goods and now trying to turn that pressure around and reverse that hold, bending the elite athlete but now, oh, now the pressure being applied by Mike Orlando to Teddy Goods. Not only was his back contorted there, that shoulder was definitely taking a beating. Getting caught with his shoulders oh. on the ground was Goods and quickly scrambling away after kicking off Orlando. Well, I knew this was going to be a marquee matchup here. This is our last match before intermission, and it is certainly living up to the hype. I'm very familiar with Teddy Goods and all of what he's done on the Northeast, but the elite athlete equally impressive further downstate and in the New Jersey, Pennsylvania area. So these men, very well known throughout the Northeast. And there's a reason why, folks. This is the kind of action you can only see 
at Dynasty Pro Wrestling. Orlando once again going back to that arm, wrenching it once more, not afraid to attack the shoulder. You know, I thought we'd see a lot more hard-hitting action here, Sebastian, but it is chain wrestling in the middle of the ring. These two men working holds and... The technical ability is there. Yeah, you can see it here being on display here at 2 Red. Orlando oh, with some goodness. quickness there. Catching goods with a knee and catching him with a right of his own. The elite athlete now fired up. Teddy Goods taking a break on the outside. Good time for that. And a big suicide dive dropping Goods on the far side of the ring. And a man that size, folks, you can't imagine how impressive it is to see a man that size fly through the middle rope like Mike Orlando did with ease. He is certainly an elite athlete. And that is an elite posterior on Anna Teresa. Va, va, boom. But I digress. Back to this matchup. Now we're getting selfies here, apparently, with the elite athlete. He's got time to fraternize with the crowd. Yeah. I don't know that that's what you wanted to do with a guy like Teddy Goods, and he's making him pay for it. But a right hand, a sharp right hand from the elite athlete, Mike Orlando, sends Teddy Goods into the barricade. And now a giant kick from the elite athlete. Orlando asking for more crowd attention, looking to get some help. And it looks like he forced Goods to make a tag or a high five, whatever you want to call it. But Goods ain't getting out of this no matter no. who he's tagging in the crowd. No, Teddy Goods now, he's, he's just lost out there. And now just, oh my goodness. Getting choked in the corner there by Mike Orlando now. Up and over is Teddy Goods. Head of steam. Spinning elbow by Teddy Goods now. Fighting back into this matchup, and it's Mike Orlando taking a break on the outside. Could we see a suicide dive from the Goods one? Well, Goods looks like he's saying anything you can do. Uh-oh. He won't get a chance to do better no, as the he European did not. uppercut absolutely drops him. Well, Teddy Goods telegraphed that one, and it was costly because now the elite athlete, Mike Orlando, making his way back in the ring, and oh, my goodness. Devastating kick to the midsection by Mike Orlando. Teddy Goods looking again, like you said, trying to maybe tag someone in, a phantom partner. He's got nobody out here with him. Not enough. Now you see that shoulder acting back up again. That's what Orlando was targeting earlier well, in the and match. Was... And Goods, after being abused for this last couple of minutes, can't even knock the elite athlete off his well, feet. And that's how you throw a shoulder tackle. The Former collegiate football star, Mike Orlando, of course. That's why he's the elite athlete, throwing shoulder tackles like the one you just saw, and Teddy Goods feeling it, trying to shake out the numbness from that arm. That shoulder being taken down by the elite athlete. Now, center of the ring scoops him up, but Teddy Goods fights out. Well, Teddy throws a running chop into the corner. Now, Sends his man off and head of steam. Oh, right into that post and then a kick for good measure to the lower back and Teddy Goods out to the apron now. Really feeling it in his lower back. You can see him favoring that area. Now, yes, Orlando has been impressive, but I will say this. He'll definitely be considered more elite if he can finish off an opponent. It's been a while since he's gotten a check mark in that win column. Well, a fair assessment. Of course, he was sent to the back of the line when he did not win the heavyweight title, told by Mike King that he's going to have to fight his way back to the number one contendership if he ever wants a shot at Mike Verna's heavyweight title. And a heavy challenge placed in front of him here tonight with Teddy Goods. But the skills are there as he goes for the quick cover and Goods barely kicking out. You can definitely see all that offense starting to take its toll on Goods as another quick cover is taken by the elite athlete. Can't well, seem to finish him off. And you're absolutely right, Sebastian. If you want to be considered elite, if you want to be the LeBrons of the game, you have to be able to win in the clutch. And that's the kind of athlete that Mike Orlando presents as, and hopefully he can add to his resume with a victory here tonight. But he's got the head of steam now. 
Fox moves like that big splash that'll help him get there, but a good counter by the Goods going behind him, grabbing him by the back of his neck and just slamming him to the ground. Only two fighting out is Mike Orlando, and now Anna Teresa, all she can do is cheer ringside for her man, but Teddy Goods now, reversal. It looks like Mike Orlando signaling for the end, but a kick to the face by Teddy Goods. He took too long there. Took now he might long. pay for it. A huge running European now, and he's got him by the neck. What's he going to do out of the corner? Unbelievable elite DDT out of the corner, and that could be enough. Trying can he to get on top of his man here? Trying to scramble, but both men are down. Mike Orlando clearly frustrated, wondering what does he have to do to put away Teddy Goods here. These two having just an unbelievable singles match up here before we head into intermission here at 2 Red. I don't know who could win this matchup. It's any man's game at this point. And Teddy Goods saying, what do I have to do to put away the elite athlete? Oh, he squared him up. He called his shot and he connected with it and doesn't look like he's done with him. Throwing those back elbows, asking the crowd to count him out with him. Wow, and the tenth one, a spinning elbow for good measure. And well, you see him, folks. He's fired up in there. Teddy Goods is. Can he take advantage? But Anna Teresa Smart takes her man to the outside. Could this be the suicide dive? Gets it off that time, returning the favor like he received earlier in the match. Goods, give him credit. He's taken a lot of abuse in this one, but now building up that head of building up that head of steam, trying to get back into this one, self-motivating himself by just smacking the ground, the ring apron, getting back to the top rope, trying to come away with his first win right here at Dynasty. Cross body catches him. What strike from the elite athlete into a fireman's carry. And a swinging DDT, and folks, that's going to do it. That's got to be enough. Well, you got to like the heart from Teddy Goods, but oh my goodness, somehow able to kick out. Took just a little too long, did the elite athlete Mike Orlando. And Goods showing it was a, only two. Showing a tremendous amount of resilience here. All right, well. Calling for the moonsault here. Now, once again, a man of his size should not be doing a moonsault That's like That's absolutely right. You do not see a guy this big able to do as much as he can do. And well, look out. We've got company here, folks. The man of steel, Mike Verna, the heavyweight champion, with P.J. Stackpole, his manager, bringing out the heavyweight title. Of course, the man of steel. They have history. Uh -oh. Teddy Goods kick to the midsection. This could be the opening Ted needed. Only two. Somehow he was able to kick out. Well, Teddy Goods, I think, thinks he won this matchup, but it was only a two count. It was only a two count. Oh, it was three? Oh, well, we had a little bit of confusion there, but no, it was three. Orlando. One, two, three, Teddy Goods gets the victory here. Orlando thought he got the shoulder up there. It was close. That was definitely worth a second look, but once again, Mike Vernon. Oh, he makes his presence known. The heavyweight champion came out here, distracted Mike Orlando, and no hard feelings here. Both men, we wondered if this would be how it would end with sportsmanship the way that it opened up, and it absolutely has. Two excellent competitors at the height of their game, but it was Teddy Goods getting the victory here tonight.